Hello everyone and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your Christmas messages from your angelic team. So I'm just going to invite the angels to come in and give us whatever messages they want to give us. We have three different piles to choose from. This is pile one with the phantom quartz. This is pile two with the Herkimer diamond. And this is pile three with the Apophyllite point. All right, take your time in choosing your pile. You might be drawn to more than one pile. That's perfectly all right. That is your intuition letting you know that there's a message in that pile for you as well. Keep in mind, these are all general tarot readings, so please only go with what resonates with you. So I will start with pile one. There'll be timestamps down below in the description box for the other two readings, and I will meet you at your reading. Hello, Pile One. If you chose the Phantom Quartz, welcome to your reading. So we're going to begin with your three Oracle cards, and then we're gonna go deeper into this reading with some tarot and some more messages from your angelic team. Now keep in mind, this is a general tarot reading. So please only go with what resonates with you and leave the rest. So we begin with Archangel Gabriel with insight. Gabriel is opening up your heart with compassion and opening up your third eye as well to your intuition. This is heartfelt intuition and this is asking you to trust that intuition so that you can see into your situation as well as into other people's situations and have compassion. Next, we have the goddess of knowledge. Start to apply what you already know. Trust your intuition. Okay, this is a confirmation to Gabriel's insight. Um, because we already know certain things. We're born with innate wisdom. And Archangel Gabriel is bringing in this insight into the knowledge that you already have and guiding you in a way to use that knowledge. And you are being asked to trust that guidance. Next, we have Raziel with Retreat. Now, some of you might need to get away from other people's energy, their point of views, their uh, just getting out of the echo chamber so that you can spend some time alone so that you can listen to your own inner voice and receive Gabriel's insight in this retreat. And this can be uh, a sacred retreat for you. This could just be you retreating to your meditation place, even if it's just to your bedroom or your favorite chair. And read those books that you're drawn to, that call to you. Read about that information because it's going to spark something within you. It's going to resonate with something within you and wake you up. So let's go a little bit deeper here with some tarot cards. Okay, Spirit just tossed these two cards out. So let's take a look. We have the Hangman. We have the 
Hierophant. So I feel like that some of you might be feeling spiritually stuck or that you are processing some information and seeing where it fits. This could also be uh, learning, gaining some understanding and there's a contrast or a conflict. There's something that's not resonating with the information that you know compared to your spiritual knowledge. And this is asking you to, with that resonation, there's a vibration. And that vibration is going to clear out the confusion and bring to you the truth as you know it, as it resonates with you. Okay, then we have the Knight of Pentacles in this retreat. And this card is really nice with that retreat card because the Knight of Pentacles is patient. There's a standstill. Now, you do have to be careful not to get caught up in stagnation. However, with the hangman, he's hanging there getting new insight, communicating with his spiritual team, with the creator, with the source, however you perceive that. Or perhaps your perception of that is changing. Next, we have the Three of Swords. Okay, I think what you're getting hung up about here is there's some heartache, uh, some kind of betrayal here where you feel like that uh, perhaps your a certain belief system that you once held has somehow betrayed you and rejected you for who you are by nature because you're created by source, nature, the universe. You're created from love. There is no, um, you know, there shouldn't be any rules to spiritual love you know this is supposed to be unconditional love and i feel like that some of you have discovered that some conditions have been put on your love and it's betraying what you know as truth and here that insight this is a painful insight for you but that pain is waking you up just as a shaman would hang from the cottonwood tree to get in touch with his creators and bring back messages from the great source. And here I feel like that truth is painful for you somehow. And it's leaving you suspended there. And it's going to take some time for you to understand and heal that. That's why it's important that you go into this retreat. Because there's a healing. And for some of you, this can be a physical healing. Okay, next we have the King of Wands. You are going to be inspired. You're going to come to an understanding for yourself. You're going to understand your spirituality as you perceive it. Next, we have the Four of Swords. Again, the retreat card here. It's going to take time to heal for this understanding, to recover now, for some of you, 
this could actually be a physical injury and you cannot rush the healing of that physical injury any more than you can rush spiritual emotional healing it takes time and your angels are letting you know that they are here with you that you know you understand that you agreed to have these human experiences to understand uh, human suffering, your own suffering here of reject rejection and betrayal, uh, because some of you feel betrayed and you're coming to terms with that. So just give yourself some time for that healing, for that understanding. Let's get you a couple energy cards. Okay. And let's see what kind of energy. Oh, that card wanted to go with the deck. Okay, look at this woman holding a card with 44. I feel that this is very much like Gabriel energy, this heart energy, because Gabriel rules the West Gate, which is ruled by the moon, which rules water, emotions, dreams. And you're holding your heart. You're showing that you have compassion. You want to, um, you're actually getting deeper compassion through this process, through this pain in your heart. And with that heart healing, your an angels are here giving you this beautiful heart healing and giving you this heartfelt insight so you have a deeper intuitive knowledge of the situation, which is also going to give you deeper compassion and understanding for others. Next, we have community with number seven. And this is that celebration that you can celebrate with others who uh, have also gone through this process. So when you've come out of your retreat, there is this beautiful community waiting to receive you with love and acceptance and understanding because this, for some of you, this can also be an initiation process where you're kind of put in the hot seat. This can be a form of hazing, but this is to break you down to make you more aware of who you are and what is true for you. And that's going to resonate with this community that is waiting to celebrate with you when you come through the other side of this initiation or this process. Now, let's get you some more angel number messages here. Some more angel messages. Okay, and for you, we have a triple eight with I am abundant. As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. The woman holding her heart, abundant love. And with that abundance, everything that 
you know, because we do have the Knight of Pentacles here, uh, this could also have something to do with a financial plan. And this is asking you to use what you already know. Start with what you already know. Start with the resources that you have. And from that, you are going to create abundance, even more abundance. And by gathering what you do have, what you do know, you're going to also realize just how abundant you are, especially when you come into your community. And here you have an abundance of appreciation, of music, the arts, of everything that is beautiful. Next, we have number 27. I'm expressive. How perfect is this? Okay, your mind is wide open. Yes, with the insight. Look at this open-ended pyramid. Your mind is open and you are tolerant and compassionate toward all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, or the world at large. And here we have the community. Wow, I think your angels have spoken clearly to you, my pile one. You have a place in your community and if not, you're going to create a community where so much love and understanding and compassion is going to offer acceptance and understanding to those who, who feel heartbroken, who feel stuck and hung up. You're going to help them through the process because you've been through this initiation. Just like others before you, we all go through an initiation of growth when we come to a new phase in our life. So my pile one, I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that you found this helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until next time, Take care. Hello, Pile 2. If you chose the Herkimer Diamond, welcome to your reading. So we're first going to look at your three oracle cards, and then we're going to go deeper into the tarot and some more messages from your angelic team. Now keep in mind, this is a general tarot reading, so please only go with the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. So we first begin with the goddess of compassion. Self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth. So some of you might be a little too critical of yourselves. And this is upsetting your emotional balance, how you feel about yourself, and feeling like that you're not valued. You're abandoning yourself. And this goddess of compassion is coming in and asking you to have compassion for yourself, to have understanding, not to abandon yourself because the goddess of compassion is not giving up on you. So next we have Gabriel with balance. Okay, you're being asked to bring some balance back to your life. What made you feel less than before what self-criticism are you telling yourself is this criticism that's echoing from somebody else is this somebody else's projection that is making you feel less of what you are and 
with the goddess of compassion, she's also going to show you that that person is projecting their own lack of self-confidence onto you. They're putting you down to make themselves feel better. And Archangel Gabriel is coming in to bring you some balance, ask you to come into a state of meditation and listen to that inner voice and then come to your heart. Gabriel is going to guide you to your heart and tell you that, you know, that self-criticism isn't true. It's only bringing you down, creating anxiety, depression, uh, maybe for some of you, triggering traumas. And next we have Hanel with Champion. He's coming in to champion you, to let you know that you are a worthwhile person to have compassion for yourself. Stop talking badly about yourself. Stop the negative talk. We are all perfectly imperfect. And those flaws are what make us unique. Just like the flaws in a gemstone can sometimes create a rainbow. And your angels are asking you to see the rainbow within yourself. And that rainbow are, are your chakras. And Hanel is coming in like the knight, the shining knight in armor, coming in to bring you justice, to be your champion, because this knight comes in when there are... Th those who can't stand up for themselves, who are being oppressed by bullies or authority figures that are just powerful bullies. And Hanel is coming in to champion you. So have compassion for yourself and Gabriel will help bring balance. So you have two beautiful angels coming in Gabriel and Hanel to bring you balance and to champion where you have been treated unjustly. Let's go into the tarot and go a little bit deeper into your reading. And we begin with the Seven of Cups. Okay, some daydreaming. You could be caught up in your dreams. Uh, this could also be part of the projections that other people have placed on you that's creating some confusion for you. And Gabriel's coming in to help bring balance to you. Then we have the King of Wands coming in, being the problem solver. And then we have the King of Swords under the champion card, bringing you justice and balance because the King of Swords is ruled by Libra, which rules justice and balance so how appropriate for the king of swords to come into your reading to help you uh, clear up this confusion solve the problem balance it out and the king of wands is also going to give you the courage and confidence to see the beauty within yourself to have compassion for yourself. Give yourself the same compassion that you have given others. Next, we have the Two of Wands. This is uh, giving you a choice, two paths to choose from. You're kind of at the fork in the road, 
and you can choose light or dark. Your free will is recognized here. You can either go deeper into the subconscious for deeper understanding, or you can travel the path of light and balance that light and dark. And you walk in between the light and dark so that you can have the definition that shadows bring and the highlights that light brings so that you have a clearer picture, a clearer understanding, a much more mature understanding with this King of Wands, which is also a fire element. So there's illumination with the wands coming in for you. Next, we have the strength card coming in, giving you that uh, confidence, gentle strength, not being harsh to anyone, being compassionate, but being compassionately strong for yourself. And here we have the Seven of Pentacles underneath the King of Swords. This is asking you to be patient with yourself as you go through this healing. You can't rush the healing process. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time and practice to come into balance. Balance is something that's always in motion. So let's get a couple energy cards here for you. We wanted to stick to the bottom of that deck. Okay, we have woman holding a coin with 42. Okay, are you feeling that because you don't have the money or have hit the milestones that other people your age have already hit and are in their careers, being successful, is this where your self-criticism that's diminishing your self-worth, this woman holding a coin is coming in, offering you abundance, letting you know that with when your harvest comes in here with the seven of pentacles, you are going to be far more abundant than you thought you were. Next, we have uh, 34, Door to Personal Healing and Happiness. How beautiful is that? And healing and happiness comes into balance for you. And again, this is personal healing and balance. And where you're going to begin your personal healing and happiness is by stopping the self-negative talk. Stop putting yourself down. Hanel is coming in to, uh, if other people are putting you down because you're different, you dress differently, uh, or for whatever reason, you're not making enough money, you don't have as much money as other people do. This is all going to change your strength of compassion is going to roar and it's going to feel really good. This strength card is also lending its strength to champion yourself. Now let's get into a couple more angel messages. As you know, angels like to communicate with you with numbers. So these are angel number messages coming to you. Okay. This one just literally flew out of the deck. So look at this master number 55. I am evolving. 
Substantial change is in your future. Embrace the change, a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. That is what this King of Wands is talking about. You know, this is a need to overcome your insecurities and to let go of your fears and be strong. Find your inner strength and you will open the door to your personal healing and happiness. Let's get you one more angel number message. have number 19. I am a pioneer. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life you desire. And look, you're going to get the payoff here with a woman holding the coin. There is feminine energy here with the goddess of compassion and the woman holding the coin. This is creative energy. I feel like that some of you are, you're a pioneer in something different. Not everyone's going to understand you. That's why Gabriel and Hanel are coming in to help balance you and be your champion to help you Stop with the self-criticism. This is where you feel like you're a misfit. That's where you fit in. Your difference is what makes a difference in the world. And you are going to be independent and self-sufficient in what you're doing. It might take you longer than it does others because you're introducing something new and different or maybe you're bringing something that's old and ancient like the knights warriors code to defend those who can't help themselves they're being oppressed by a greater power and in some ways you have an understanding of that and your angelic team is coming in giving you a big boost with your evolving and understanding that you're a pioneer. You're going into the unknown, but this door is open to you. And it offers not only you personal healing and happiness, but your journey can also become a pathway, a doorway for other people to also learn how to heal themselves. And that is where you're going to be able to make your money to, I mean, because we all have to live in this 3D world and we need finances to support us. And it is going to be through your creativity, through your own personal healing to the path of your happiness. And that process that you share with others, other people are going to resonate with that. And they will happily pay you for your guidance, for your compassionate guidance. Okay, Pile 2, I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that you found it helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until next time. Take care. Hello, Pile 3. If you chose the Apothalite point, welcome to your reading. So we're first going to look at your three oracle cards, and then we'll get into the tarot and some more angel messages. Now keep in mind, these are general tarot readings, so please only go with what resonates and leave the rest. And we begin your reading with Archangel Uriel with Abundance. 
Okay, this means an abundance of ideas, uh, material abundance, you're uh, on the flow of abundance, you're open to abundance, and I think some of you might even be practicing the law of attraction in to attract more abundance into your life. And here we have the angel of support coming your way. The universe has heard your silent call for help. And the angel of support is coming in with golden rays of supporting abundance to help you attract this abundance. Next, we have Shamel with Genius. Okay, notice we have Nikola Tesla and Einstein. Those who understood in a childlike way the magic of the universe and that everything is vibration, frequency, and light. And from that, all existence is created. And with that energy, with that genius, you are able to attract the abundance that you desire. Now, with this genius, there's a lot of creative artistic energy with this genius card. Because with the genius card, this is like Mozart just opening up his crown chakra and receiving the music. And it's channeled through him and he can't write it down fast enough, but he does. And he hears the whole thing in his mind as he's writing this down. Uh, you might be a writer and you get into this writer's flow and it's like all the words are just flowing to you. This is Uriel and your angel of support just pouring that energy and Shamil is helping you to be opened to receive all this energy because you have to have clear channels uh, you know, it's like an electrical wire, an electrical cable. Certain cables are made to light a lamp, while others are meant to carry the power through the power lines. So it takes different kinds of openings, the ability to how much energy you can channel, because certainly if the power, the of a power line was channeled through a lamp line without it going through the breaker system to distribute the right voltage to make it a smaller voltage for the lamp line to carry that energy, it would blow up if you tried to shove too much energy into this. And this has to do with physics. And there is creativity and abundance. Uh, physics is really the scientific foundation of magic. At least it is for me. Um, I think Nikola Tesla and Einstein were very magical, creative humans that you know, channeled this energy when they were in a state of daydreaming. And you are being opened up with this abundance. So get ready, my pile three. You are going to get a big energy boost of support. And you're going to be supported with this upload of energy because you're going to get a big energy surge and it's going to really uh, make you very creative. It's like you're going to be driven. You have to get this out of you or you're going to short circuit. <laughs> so let's get into some tarot. 
you know, as you know, Nikola Tesla was into electricity, electromagnetic energies. So he understood frequencies and vibrations and light. And Einstein had an understanding of the cosmos. And these things were shown to them through inspiration. And Shamil is coming in with genius inspiration. So if you've been having writer's block or any kind of creative block, that is going to change for you. Whatever's been blocking you is going to open wide for you. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups with daydreaming. Now, Einstein spoke about the importance of daydreaming. And it's okay to daydream. That's where that inspiration comes from. Here we have the Six of Cups. And this might come from the past where you're trying to recapture a moment from the past. It was nostalgic, but there's a, it's like a time capsule is there and there's information, there's a vibration from the past that you're summoning up for that inspiration, uh, remembrance of happier times and getting into that energy flow and here we have the Eight of Wands. And with the Eight of Wands, this is a lot of energy coming at you all at once. This is a flood of ideas. So this might also be overwhelming for some of you. But just open up, have a journal nearby, write down or... You know, if you type faster, put it on the computer and keep your ideas on some kind of journal because ideas are just going to be flying at you. Next, we have the King of Swords bringing you balance. Next, we have the Five of Cups with the Six of Cups. Okay, there could be some sorrow connected to this past memory for some of you. Uh, this could be a per personal sorrow uh, within yourself. This could also be from the loss of certain loved ones, friends that were suddenly taken away, uh, somebody that was important to you, um, that created a loss for you, but there's some kind of inspiration. And sometimes uh, what I'm getting in now, right now, is if any of you are in the medical field, this could be that you lost somebody that you love to some kind of disease, and you've gone into this study of disease, pathology, um, and you have a breakthrough in how to getting closer to a cure or a treatment. Now that's only for a few of you. Uh, and this could also be uh, mental dis-ease as well, because quite often creative geniuses can short circuit their minds and go a little crazy and that's just part of you know the world hasn't caught up to their vision to what they're seeing and eventually the world will catch up but there is some sorrow here that's coming from your past that you are balancing out for some reason it's been on your mind and so you've kind of been daydreaming about the past 
and this loss and there's something that is stirring up within you and here we have the ace of swords you have a breakthrough in understanding and this is perfect that it lands under the genius card because the ace of swords is the channeling of your mental intellectual energies and it has been inspired by something that has to do with some kind of sadness and loss and you find balance and understanding and and you have the support for that you have an abundance of support and for some of you a lot of beautiful artwork comes out of the loss, you know, that creativity comes through the process of balancing that emotional loss, expressing, you know, it needs a way, an avenue to be expressed. And that artwork that you create helps other people to connect with uh, what they felt because these are experiences that we all have as humans and it's going to speak to other people and this could be where your financial abundance starts flowing in but right now because I'm not really seeing any pentacles here it is more of a flow of ideas and writing so this is part of the process get it down and let's get you some energy cards to see where this is going for you, Pile 3. I feel like that many of you are ha getting this angelic support. It's heard your silent call for help. And it's coming in great abundance so that you can understand your uniqueness. And again, there's some situation that's from childhood uh, that has a feeling of melancholy to it. And you are going to balance that and have understanding. And with that understanding, because we have the Eight of Wands here, and look, the stairs to the light. You have the stairway to the light. And it's like the light bulb goes on. You have the ideas. You are illuminated mentally, emotionally. So let's get you those energy cards. And we have the third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. This has to do with the solar plexus. This is giving you that confidence boost. You're going to have an abundance of confidence. You now have an understanding of your genius, your creative genius, and that is going to give you that big boost of confidence in being different, being unique. And not only is this angel of support coming in to illuminate you, and give you this confidence boost. But that's going to also radiate out from you. And like I was using in the example of artwork. Where you're expressing something that you experienced. Some kind of painful experience that you had. And you now know how to express that. Other people are going to recognize that artistic genius. And then we have number 41, the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, coming through again with this abundance. I feel like that we should put Uriel over here next to the abundance with the other Uriel card. So Uriel coming in very strongly for you, pile three. Something is coming to 
a big change. Something is being let go of. You're releasing that sorrow. And in that process, you know, you release that and then you pick up your other two cups and you move forward because with those two cups, you have an abundance of creative ideas flowing to you. Now let's get you some angel number messages because as you know, angels do like to communicate in numbers. And for you, we have number nine. I am compassionate. It's your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service. And there are many ways to be of service. And again, there is this emotional healing. You ha are being compassionate with yourself. And that compassion is making you shine. You're radiating that compassion out to others who need help. You also might become an angel of support for people who are sad and downtrodden and it has had a big impact on them to where they're stuck in their sorrow. You might uh, come up with a way to help people through that sadness through your own experiences and your next one 77 i am brave it is time to move on from the old patterns habits and fears now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions now is the time to be bold and brave and as you know Fortune loves those who are bold and brave. And right here, it's time to move on from old patterns and habits. You're letting those go. You've reflected on them here. You felt that sadness. Uh, maybe you weren't able to process an emotional situation at the time that it happened. And... You go back and you're able to clear that energy blockage and change the pattern, those old patterns of habits that you did out of fear to protect yourself. You have this understanding now and that's what has made you so compassionate because you understand you've been there. Okay, Pile 3, these are your messages. I hope that you found this reading helpful and beneficial. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And until next time, take care.